We have more breaking news regarding the mental health history of the man suspected of killing 18 people in Maine. I want to bring in Ken Delaney, an NBC News justice and intelligence correspondent. Ken, what have you just learned? Chris, it's become increasingly clear that there were major concerns about this suspect, Robert Card's mental health, over the summer and as recently as a few weeks ago, both from his military commanders and members of his family. I've got two pieces of information to share with you. Two senior law enforcement officials tell me that Card's Army Reserve commanders referred him to inpatient psychiatric treatment over the summer after they be became concerned about his comments that he had been hearing voices and about threats that he had made to the base. And we're told that he spent about two weeks inside a psychiatric facility, was treated there, was released. It's unclear what happened after that. But his sister-in-law has just given an interview to one of my colleagues on NBC News Digital in which she said that the family was raising concerns with the Army Reserve about what they viewed as Card's increasingly uh, concerning mental status. Um, she said, we reached out to make sure everyone was on the same page because he is someone who does gun training. We were concerned about his mental state. She said her husband went back and forth with the Army, but it's unclear what actions were taken. She said they were following up on it, but he's never been someone we thought would actually do anything. So significant concerns. And Maine does have what's known as a yellow flag law that allows the police to, to go to a judge and ask that a subject's guns be taken away if a mental health professional or medical professional deems that that person was a threat. Obviously, that didn't happen in this case. And we learned that the gun used in this shooting was a what's known as a 308 sniper rifle, a very, very lethal military style weapon, Chris. Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shah by Shin Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. All right, so you saw in the clip, all right, they're basically saying that, you know, this guy, this guy was a nut case, he was a nut job. And that's what Esau does, all right? First, first, well, first, let me say that, you know, whether this thing is real or, you know, whether this, whether it's a psyop of the so-called white man Esau Edom, because we are, you know, in the, in, the, in the last days, all right? And this is America, Babylon the Great, which means uh, great confusion. The word Babylon uh, goes into Babal, which means confusion. So this is Babylon the Great, all right? But, you know, nevertheless, you know, like I say, whether this thing is real or whether it's a psyop, because we are in the age, or we are in the time, or where these elites are doing everything to push their all uh, their new world order, all right, their one world agenda, all right. But you know, I want to focus on, um, you know, that Esau saying this guy was uh, basically a mental patient, all right. Like I say, the nut case. You know that this guy was completely left field. And that's what Esau does, man. All right. It's always, you know, it, it always goes back to something other than, you know, the so-called white man just being a, a violent man and being a problem, being the problem of the earth, man. All right. Now, this guy could have uh, very well been a, been a nut case, all right, because Yahweh Bashim al Shah is the father of all spirits, man. As you heard in the clip, they're saying that, you know, his family uh, was saying that. You know, he would he he uh he would uh hear voices and whatnot, man. So and yeah, how was shy, yeah, how about shim how was shy? Alright. Yeah, how about shim how was shy? It's the father of spirits, man. Alright, so he could have been that could have been, you know, this guy could have been played with, with demons, man, all kind of demons. Alright, because yeah, how about shim how was shy is it's powerful like that, man. So this guy could have actually had demons on him, man. Alright, he just could have turned out to be, like I said, very cool. Could very well be real, man. This just could have been a uh, spirit credit for vengeance. Let's start with that one. What's that? Uh, Sirac. Sirac 39. And 28. This is the book of Ecclesiastes or Sirac chapter 39 verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him. And the him is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is the father of spirits, man. All right. And everything has a spirit, man. Every, everything on earth has a spirit, man. 
There's no such thing as an inanimate object to Yahweh Bashem Shah, man, because you see uh, in the scriptures you read about the account, man, where Yahweh Shah uh, made the bandages come off of um, I think it was um, it was Lazarus, man, if I if I'm not mistaken. All right, so Yahweh Bashem Shah even controls inanimate objects, man. All right, but the point being that you know Yahweh Bashem Shah is the father of spirits, man, and like like you saw, like you heard in the clip, they said that this guy's family said that you know he would uh. He had voices in his head or whatnot, man. So he could have just very well, you know, been plagued with spirits, man, plagued with demons, man. And Yahweh Bashem Al Shah could have made him go do this, man. If 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 this, if this thing is indeed is real, all right, because Yahweh Bashem Al Shah is, is is really the one who's doing the depopulation, man. We're in the time of judgment, man. We're in the end, all right. So Yahweh Bashem Al Shah is getting getting rid of people, man. All right, taking the countdown. I think the uh, the, the 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 um deletion count now. All right, is that currently at, uh, I think it's like 22. All right. So, yeah, man, everybody knows by now this, this guy, uh, Robert Carr, he shot up, I think it was a bowling alley, man, in um, Lewis, Lu Lewiston, Maine. All right. And like I said, I think the death count is uh, 22 right now. I think it's like 18 injured, 18 wounded. All right. But, again, like, if it, this thing could be real, it could be a sight. But, if you know, if it, if it is real, it could have been just a spirit created for vengeance, man. All right, but going back, you know, Esau always, you know, you got to remember Esau, the so-called white man, is a master deceiver, all right? You know, like I said, if it's real, Esau is going to always spin it to where he's never to blame, to where the so-called white man is never to blame, all right? He always paints it as, you know, this is, you know, mental health, and mental health is real. Ultimately, mental, mental health, all right, is just basically being plagued with damn demons, Having y'all by Shem Shah having spirits on you, that's all mental health. People who have mental health problems and being sight wards and all that, they ain't, them ain't nothing but spirits on them people, man. All right? By Yahweh by Shem Shah. All right, but the point being that, you know, Esau always paints these as isolated incidents, man. All right? No matter how many of these uh, mass shootings occur, they always paint it. Oh, this guy was, you know, something was wrong with him. You know, he, he had mental health problems. All right? Because Esau is a master deceiver, man. You got to remember, all right, it says in um, Genesis, the third chapter, that the serpent was more uh, subtle than any beast of the field, man. He was more cunning, more crafty. And the serpent is the wicked, which is so-called white man. Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 and 4. All right, and the beast are the other nations. All right. But yeah, the so-called white man, he's more uh, cunning and crafty. All right. And, and, and subtile than, than any beast of the field, man, than any other nation. All right, and that's what these, that's what they uh that's what they always do with these uh with these pale faces, man. These uh as the beloved Elder Malcolm will say, man, the most the biggest terror to the earth is the pale male, man. All right, but they always paint it as you know these, you know these are like I said, these are isolated incidents. You know these these this you know something was wrong, something something every time uh this happened, something was something wrong with this guy, something was wrong with that guy. All right, but when Jake does something. It's always, you know, it's a stereotypical thing. All right. It's never, basically, it's never an isolated incident, you know, because they painted us as being, you know, the, the most violent people on the earth, the biggest thieves, man. All right. So, so when these white boys go out and do shit like this, man, it's always, uh, you know, he had issues. Something was wrong with him. All right. So, yeah, man, that's what Esau does, man. Like I said, you know, whether this is real or a sad, man, because it, you, you, hey, only y'all about Shem Al Shah knows, man. Because everything that's going over there in the Holy Land, man, with uh, so called um, Israelis and the Palestinians, man, they, they see this thing here can tie into a lot of things, man. So that's why we just have to be um, circumspect, man, and, 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 and watch and pray, man. All right, and that's, that's why the. Uh, Elder Apostle Rakar, he always pushes prayer, man, that we should always pray before we leave our houses, man, because you got, you know, you got all kind of spirits out here, man. You know, so when, when we're in our, you know, day to day, you know, on our jobs or whatever, man, or just going out, you know, whether it's going out to the grocery store or whatever, man, like the uh, Elder Apostle Rakar says, man, we should always pray before we leave our homes, man, before we leave our houses. Because you how about Shema Shah got all kind of spirits out here, man. All right. The scriptures say, um, and but uh, I think it's uh, Matthew, either the twelfth chapter or the fifteenth chapter. All right, it says um, 
that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's the time that we're in now, man. All right. Iniquity is sin upon sin, man, and, 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 and iniquity is running rampant in the earth, man. That's why uh, there's no love out here, man. You got guys doing shit like this, man, all right? But, you know, like I said, Esau always, because, you know, the white man, the scriptures tell us that he's a violent man. That's why King David said, uh, protect me from the violent man, which is thy sword, man. And like I said, Esau is, you know, Esau Edom, he, the so-called white man is, the sword of the Lord. So this could be, like I said, this just could have been Yahweh Shem Shah putting the spirit on this guy to go get to go get rid of some people, man. All right, you know. But nevertheless, the so this could be real because the so-called white man is the he is by nature, which means when I say by nature, by meaning uh the way Yahweh Shem Shah made him, the way Yahweh Shem Shah programmed him to be, he is a violent man. He's a naturally violent man. That's what he was made to do, man. He was made to uh terrorize the earth, man. All right. So this could be real, man. I mean, you know, it could be a psyop. Who knows? All right, but like I was saying, this could tie into a lot of things, man. Everything that's going over there in the Holy Land, this, the, you know, this could be the, this could be used, like I said, toward the uh, New World Order agenda, man, to, to you know, uh, for the uh, so-called government to uh, de-arm the population. All right, which we're not corner anyway. Like I said, if you have a, if you have a, a blicky or, or, or a tool or Heat, whatever, man. If you got heat, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. As long as you just, you know, as long as you ain't putting your trust in it, as long as you ain't thinking that's going to save you, as long as you ain't thinking that's going to deliver you, man. All right? But ain't nothing wrong with, you know, having a blick, as the brothers always say, man, starting with the apostles and the elders, man. It ain't wicked to own, to own a blicky. I right? just know that, you know, it ain't going to save you. And when all hell break loose, you shouldn't be looking to use it, man. You should just have it you know, in your home for protection, so to speak, man. All right. But yeah, man. So, so we just have to, um, the scripture say be circumspect, man, because the days are evil. Let's get that one. And it's going to be a short list. And I'm just going to hit a couple of scriptures and get on out of here. All right. But yeah, I saw this, uh, clip, man. And, you know, and I've seen all like, you know, of course they're going to say something was wrong with him. You know, he had mental problems, mental health issues. All right. So like I want to Ephesians 5. But yeah, man, it's always um it's an isolated incident when it comes to these pale males, man. All right. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. So, yeah, we're in an evil time, man. All right. We're in an evil time, man. We're in a very evil time. And that word evil goes into just that, man. Bad times, man. Eve is time and ill is bad. So, literally, a bad time, evil time. These are evil times that we're in, man. So, we have to be circumspect, man. Keep our head on the swivel. Like I say, we are always got to pray when we all uh, leave our house, man. When we go out and about, man. We should be praying always anyway, man. All right, praying without scripture, say pray without ceasing. So we should always be praying, man. You know, but we got to be circumspect out here, man. Circumspect meaning, you know, watch all around us, man. Watch what's going on around us, man. All right, spec meaning to look and circle mean circum. All right, meaning, meaning circle. All right, so we should be looking all around us, man. Watching all around us, man, being circumspect, man. We're in a very evil time, man, and, and there's a lot of spirits out here, man. All right. We're in a time of death and destruction, man, and, you know, all hell breaking loose, so we got to be circumspect. That's the scripture tell us to be. But like I said, man, this guy here, man, he, he you know, he, you know, he's still at large. You know, there's, there's still a man, a man hunt for him. But yeah, they already saying that, you know, he's a nutcase, man. I think they said that he was in a psych ward for like, uh, what they said, like two weeks. All right. They're saying that his family was saying his family was had, had already reported that, you know, something was wrong with him. And that could be true, but, you know, that's, you know, like I said, you know, Issa, you just got to, we, basically, we have to consider all things, all right? We just have to be circumspect, man, and know who the hell we're dealing with. We're dealing with the so-called white man, Esau Edom. He's the devil of the earth, man, the, the physical counterpart of, of the spiritual demon Satan, man. So this, like I said, this can be either or, man. It can be real. It can be a psyop. It can be fake. It can tie into a lot of things, man, you know. That's why we just have to stay on our watch and, you know, stay under the uh the covering of the Yahweh Shem Al Shah, meaning doing what we're supposed to do, man, and we're going to be covered. 
Uh, we have to uh, stay prayed up, man. Stay working, you know, praying, fasting, man. You know, giving like give, you know, giving diligence to make our calling and, and election sure, man. Because you know it's hell all around us, man. All right. So we have to be circumspect, man. All right. So like I said, man, they're always gonna paint. You know, it always it's always gonna be something else when when, when things like this happen, man. All right. It's never gonna be the finger is never gonna be pointed at the so-called white man. All right. He, the so-called white man is never going to be stereotyped as doing things like this, man. All right, the white man, all right, he he's a harbinger of death, man. All right, scriptures say he uh his his desire is as hell and he is as death, man. I think that's uh Habakkuk two and five, man. All right, so he's he he he's he's a harbinger of death anyway. He's he's a violent man anyway. All right, but they're, they're never going to be painted as that, man, because they're in their kingdom and they control the narrative. All right. So it's always, you know, something else behind these things, man. Like I said, now they're painting him as being a mental patient, as being a nut job, man. And, you know, and that's what you're going to see on, on the news, man. That's why you can't, you know, we can't, you know, you get the news to get certain information, man. But, you know, really you should be watching um, alternative media anyway to get the truth. All right. You know, because they're going to, they're going to, um, when they, when they, when they run this, uh, they're gonna say that he, you know, he, he, you know, something is wrong with him. It's never gonna be, you know, this is a pale male thing. This is a so-called white man thing. These, these mass shooters, because they're the real. Ter they're never gonna be painted as the uh, true terrorists that they are, man. Like I said, they're, they're, they were made to terrorize the earth. They're the real ter terrorists, man. All right. Jake don't do shit like this, man. It's very, very rare for Jake to do shit like this, man. All right. So this is a pale male thing. All right, but they're always going to paint it as something else, man. All right, so we just have to be circumspect, man, and know, like I said, man, stay, you know, stay in the scriptures daily, man, and praying and fasting, all right, because we know who we're dealing with, man, and we know what Esau is trying to do, all right, in this New World Order agenda, man. He's, you know, like I said, this could tie into a lot of things. He can use this to, you know, toward his, toward his agenda of dearming the population, man, for when they come down, man, so they can get as little resistance as possible, all right? You know, because they're looking to, to uh, militarize these uh, these cities, man, these streets, man. All right. And, and you have troops over here already, man. You, we can't. We have to be wise, man. You know, they got sleeper cells over here already. You, what you think going on with this immigration thing, man? A lot of these so-called immigrants are U.N. troops, man. Gurga troops being brought over here, man. All right. And they're trained and ready to go, man, for you jakes, man. The scriptures say, uh, Ezekiel 21 and 9, the, the short is, sar is sharpened, man. To make a a, a, slow, a sore slaughter, or roughly paraphrasing, all right. So 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 troops are already over here, man. So like I said, they can be this this could just be another step toward you know them bringing in their martial law, you know, and depart dearming the population, man. Because especially down here in the uh, south, man, in the so in the uh, Bible Belt, man, you know these 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 rednecks down here, these uh pale males, these Edomites down here, man, they. You know, they're ready to go against the uh, go government, man, because the government, trusting the government is at an all-time low, man, because we're in the end, man. All right? You're seeing a lot of protests going on against the uh, state of Israel over there, man. All right? Because people, are, we're in the information age, and people are now looking into things, man. And, you know, a lot of people, all right, know that those people over there in the land are not the real people, man. All right? So they could, this, this could be a psyop to bring in a lot of things, man. All right, or, or this could be real, man. Like I said, who knows, man? All right, but nevertheless, let's get this one, man. First Corinthians. All right, you know I'm going First Corinthians two and eleven. I always do that, so like it. First Corinth Corinthians two. Or is it Second Corinthians? I think it's Second. It got to be Second Corinthians. You know, I'm just doing this quick lesson, you know, through the Spirit. Uh, dang, Salakia. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, it's like call it. Yeah. This is Second Corinthians two and eleven. Least Satan should get in, in advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, man. So this could be real, or it could be just another device of Satan, man. It's, hey, we're in Babylon Great. It can be a lot of things, man. And we know the truth, man. So it could be the uh, you know, you how about him out? Child could have put a spirit on this man because, like I'm saying, he could have very well had mental health problems, which just means demons, you know, because he was hearing voices, man. So. That could have been Yahweh Hashem uh having those demons stirred up in him, talking to him, man. Them spirits on him. All right. But it can be either or, man. But I would just want to say that, you know, Esau always paints these as isolated incidents, man. No matter how, how many of them there are, it's always an isolated incident with these, man. All right. But yeah, man. So it just could be a little bit of everything. I just wanted to play that clip in the beginning to show you that. <laughs> You know, no matter what, the Esau is gonna he's he's gonna try to, you know, keep the attention just off the so-called white man as being a violent man in general. All right. So that's why that's why I chose that clip, man, because you know that's what Esau does. He is he's he he's you know he's a master deceiver, man. He he he's a liar, man. All right. He's the father of lies, man. All right. And this could be just another, you know. Tool to push his to bring the toward his uh new world order, man. All right, because eventually these devils, all right, this fourth beast, they are gonna start uh, they are gonna go for draconian, cause 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 this is the dragon, man. We're in the uh, revived Roman Empire, man. The fourth beast, the dragon, man. And eventually they're gonna they're gonna go full blown draconian, man. All right, so you're seeing, you know, we're you know. With these leftists, man, the e Egypt, uh, America, Babylon, the great Egypt is divided, as the scripture tells us, man, because the lamb got two horns, man. All right. This this uh, this dragon uh, does have two horns, man. And it's, you know, he appears as a lamb and speaks as a dragon, man. Two horns of a lamb, but speaks as a dragon. All right. So so that's the time that we're in, man. So this could be anything, man. You know, this could tie into a lot. Of, this could tie into a lot of things, man. All right. So, yeah, man, I just want to uh, do this lesson real quick, man, because, you know, we're in a time where we have to be extremely circumspect, man. All right, and we have to know what's going on around us, know our surroundings, know the times that we're in, and know who we're dealing with, man. All right. So we got to stay on our watch and be circumspect, man. So I just want to do this real quick through the spirit. You know, hopefully this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah. All right, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shah, Bashim Rukakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach from the well and all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, the 144,000, followed by the one third uh, remnant. All right. All right, you, uh, you Akim and you few Aqua Akim that, you know, watch, watch, the, uh, watch, watch the videos, man. All right, you know, we have to say, Brothers and sisters, we have to stay uh, circumspect, stay on our watch, man. You know, stay prayed up, man, because we're in a time of death and destruction. All right, so we have to be circumspect, man. All right, we, we ain't out of the woods yet, and we, we're coming into the time where this is going to be more and more freq frequent, man. All right, uh, scripture says uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're entering, into, entering into a time of, you know, sedition, insurrection, man. The people are going to be spoiling each other, man. All right. You know, basically uh, going at it with each other, man. So we have to be circumspect. So, you know, again, hopefully this was edifying. You know, I just want to do this real quick through the spirit. You know, death is all around us, so we got to uh, be circumspect. Baba Ball, Shalom.